All right, good evening, guys. My name is Kapil, and I'll be presenting a modern application development tool project called Quizzy. It's a quiz platform where users can take various quizzes, and admin is the quiz master who creates subjects, chapters, and quizzes which are based on a particular chapter. To bring this project to life, I have used Flask for the backend, Vue.js3 for the frontend, and SQLite as my database. Uh, for the authentication, I have used JWT token. And as speed is really important, so I have used Redis for the caching and Celery for all the background asynchronous tasks. And for all the stats and charts, I have used Chart.js. Also, Bravo, which is an email service provider. And thank you, Bravo, for their generous 300 emails per day free tier. Not sponsored, by the way. So now let's take a look at my database schema design. So this is the database uh, schema design. Okay, so time to see it in action. Let's fire up the project. So this is the landing page of the app. Uh, I have given it a little bit of a uh, SaaS feel. Now let me log in as an admin. Uh, if you don't have an account, you can click on sign up, but I'm already set up. So I would uh, log in as an admin. Uh, welcome to the admin dashboard. Here is the sidebar which has all the navigation links and here is the add subject button. So if you click on it, you can add a new subject. So there are three input fields for a subject that name, the description and the image. And if you press escape button, you can close the dialog box. So let's say the name of the subject is biology. And you can add an image to So as you can see, a new subject has been created. So if you click on it, you can see that there are uh, zero chapters right now. You could either edit the subject or you could delete the subject. Uh, I wouldn't click on the delete button right now, but the button works. So let's say we want to add a chapter, name the chapter. And if I click on the chapter now, you can see there are zero quizzes so let me click on create quiz button and this is the form to create a new quiz so let's say the name of the quiz is biology quiz one some description and duration so the duration is here in uh, hours and minutes so if i type in 0 1 colon 30 it means that the test is of one hour 30 minutes you could also set the price for the quiz so let me set it to 100 rupees and this is the deadline, so it is an optional field. So just like our graded assignments, uh, we could set a deadline. So let's say 11 and midnight. Then there is a field of single attempt only. So I have given an option to the admin that they could either allow the user to give the quiz only once or infinitely many times. So if I check this checkbox, it means that the user would be able to give the quiz only once. Let me uncheck it right now. Uh, and you could add as many questions and as many options uh, you want, but there should be minimum of two options. So if I remove two, and if I try to remove more, you am not able to remove them. So let me now type any question. Test question one. Uh, you can click on add option button to add more options. Let's say it, the first option is the correct one. And if I click on the create quiz button, you can see that a new quiz has been created. And if I want to edit it, I can click on the edit button. This would open up the edit form. And if I let's say click on single attempt only and I click on save changes, you can see that it is single attempt only now. So changes have been saved. Now let me also show you the search bar functionality. Uh, here I have only created a single quiz so I wouldn't be able to show it uh, if I go into the computer science as you can see there are two chapters so if I type in test you can see test chapter and if I type in data you can see data structure so the searching has been implemented on the front end itself so whenever I'm searching for a chapter name uh, it is not being queried into the database so that there is less load on our database 
Similarly, you could search for subjects. If I type in math, you can see math. If I type in biology, you can see type biology. And if I type in any gibberish, you can see nothing of this. Now let me go to the users. There are two users right now. Uh, and if I search for Kenneth, you can see Kenneth. If I search for my own name, you can see couple. Now if I click on view details, you can see all the details of a particular user, how many quizzes they have attempted, when the person was last active, their average score and the recent activity which is basically all the recent quizzes that the person has given. If I click on view details, you will be able to see all the results of that particular quiz. And that was all about the users and also I have implemented pagination so let's say if there are a lot of users so the admin would be able to switch pages using previous and next button and you could also export the user data using this button as a csv format and it will be sent to the admin via email so this is the summary page so here are all the stats related to the app the how many students are there the subjects the chapters and the quizzes so this graph represents subject performance, how are students performing in a particular subject. This is the qualification distribution, it shows the student's qualification level, are they in school, uh, undergrad, postgrad, PhD, etc. And this is the performance distribution, so it categorizes students into four categories. Excellent, if their average score is between 90 to 100, good, which is 70 to 80, average is 50 to 69, and below average is a 0 to 49. And there is the student activity, which is uh, which shows how many students are active and how many are in. And this is the transactions page. So all the transactions which the users have made to buy the quizzes. You could also search for a transaction using the transaction ID, uh, the username, and the quiz name. So let's say uh, if I search for my own name, you can see the transactions page by me. And if I type in, let's say, math, so you can see matrices and determinants. And if I type in the transaction ID, so the first six characters of the transaction ID is always same. But if I type in, let's say, M63, so you can see that this transaction ID appears. So now let me log out and show you the uh, student dashboard. So welcome to the student dashboard. Uh, here you can edit profile, you could also use a profile picture if you want to. And click on save changes. So profile updated successfully. And you could also export all your data as a CSV. This would be also sent to you via an email. If you click on subjects, here are the four subjects. So if I click on biology, here is the chapter which we created. This is the quiz. So if I want to take this quiz, I would click here and I need to pay a hundred rupees. You can also see that this quiz is available till 11th Feb midnight and it is a single attempt only. So if I click on pay button, uh, there is a, a dummy payment portal. I need to type in this particular card number and I can click on pay now and payment successful. So I show you want to start the quiz, time I will begin immediately, you cannot pause or restart, make sure you have a stable internet connection, so I can click on start. So this is the quiz interface, as you can see the timer has started. So if I uh, refresh this quiz, you can see that the timer continues from where it left off, so it is persistent in that case. And let me choose the option, uh, here it would show how many questions are there, so it is question 1 of 1 and 100% complete so basically there is only one question so 100% complete and you can click on submit quiz so as you can see so submit a quiz has been submitted successfully and you can see the results so the results shows the question text and the answer if there was a wrong option it would show you the correct answer and your answer so both of its options back to the dashboard and if i click on summary now you can see this is the uh, summary section for the student. I have implemented this heat map similar to GitHub or uh, Lead Core. A lot of platforms have it. So it basically maintains the streak of the user, how many quizzes they have given. So it, uh, on December 14, I gave one quiz and on uh, January 19, I gave seven quizzes. So this would motivate the user to maintain the streak uh, and fill all the blue boxes. This is the subject wise performance, how the student is performing in each subject. This is the recent quiz performance. In the recent quizzes, how his performance has been. Uh, and this is the monthly performance overview. So it would track your average score, high score, and the lowest score 
over months. So you can see December 2024, January 2025, February 2025. And these are all the strengths and weaknesses. So your strengths are in these three subjects and this subject needs improvement. And again on the transactions, you can see the transactions which were made by the particular user. So that was the project. Uh, now let me show you the asynchronous features which I have implemented. So if I click on export CSV button, you can see generating your export and export has been completed. So I'll go on to my Gmail now and you can see the email has arrived and if I click on it. So here is the email which we received. Uh, you can see generated on 2025, 2, 4 and 10.51 p.m. And if I click on download export, you can see the export has been done. Similarly, if they click on the transaction, so in transactions, it is not asynchronously done. So if I click on the export CSV button, it uh, directly gets downloaded. And you can see all the transactions. Now let me log out and uh, sign in as admin again. So if I go on to the users now and if I click on export CSV button, you can see again the export is completed. And here is our received email. So similarly, you can click on download export and the data case on. To show you the monthly generated reports and daily notifications which goes to the users, I would have to change the time. Uh, so for the daily reminders, I would set the time. So let's say 2256 because right now it's 22.55 and as you can see as 22.57 hits I have changed it to 22.57 for the monthly reports and same for the daily reminder uh, uh, the email has been sent here you can see the monthly activity report similarly this is the uh, daily quiz reminder so this daily remitter is given to all the users. It shows them all the new quizzes which have been created. So as I just created the biology quiz, so that is on the top because it is the most recently created. You could also see here that daily reminders was sent and so was the monthly activity report. I also changed the day of the month to be 4th because today is 4th of Feb. So I've also implemented an extra feature. Let's say just in case the user forgets his password, he could click on the forget password button and he could type in his email id so if this email id exists in the database he would receive a password reset link as you can see password reset link has been sent to your email and as you can see password reset request has arrived you can click on the reset password button type in your new password i'm typing one two three four five six seven eight and reset password as you can see password reset successfully redirect when you log in now, just in case a uh, user types in a uh, wrong uh, URL, this is the 404 page not found page and you can press escape to return to home page. Now, if I use the same password, 1345678, I'm able to log in. Uh, all the APIs which I have made in this application are class-based and I have also deployed this project on render for free so I would also share the link in the description if you want to check the project out for yourself and yeah that was the project guys thank you so much for your attention and patience cheers